Hi there, I'm Lee and welcome to iMindBlocks. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up and install the Grin node. So the Grin node is useful because it allows you to access the wallet kind of interface. So it has its own wallet, but really I'm showing you this because it's kind of like a pre uh, a requirement before installing the 713 wallet. So, but I don't want a, a, a huge video, so I want to kind of break this down into a separate, smaller, uh, easier to consume um, little video for you. So let's uh, jump into it. So I'm using Ubuntu, it's 18.04.1, uh, and I've got it installed in a virtual box. So it's kind of this window inside Windows. But you guys can install it on a, uh, a VPS, or if you've got a dedicated Linux machine, uh, the process will be very much exactly the same. So log in and start up from your uh, Linux uh, desktop, and then you want to Control Alt and T, which opens up a new terminal uh, window. So all we're going to be doing is just copy and paste in a few commands um, to get installed with this Grin node. So I'll put the, uh, let's just resize this. And I'll put the text file on the right hand side. I'll put the links to everything you need to get started. I'll put that all in the uh, video description. So there's a lot of code on here, but part of it's for the wallet. So you're not going to need that. We're only going to be going down using this section here. So don't, don't worry about it too much. Don't get overwhelmed or anything. So the first part is we want to install um, these applications and um, uh, other programs that we're going to need to kind of build the, the node. So we're just going to copy and paste. So we um, select it, control and C to copy. And then if we right click, we can paste into the terminal. So because we're using sudo, uh, we need to enter our password. And we just wire to confirm that we want to install these programs. So that's the first part done. So the next part is we want to install uh, Rust, which is the, the programming language that the Grin node uses. So again, we're going to copy and paste. So um, if you see this, um, don't worry too much. It's because I already have a previous installation of um, Rust installed. So I'm just going to remove it using this command here. You guys probably won't get that. It'll probably just go through, but if you do. Um, and then I'm going to rerun this command again. Um, it's just to make sure it installs the correct version of uh, Rust. It's probably also because I've got this cargo in there as well. But anyway, so installing Rust, uh, we want to proceed with the installation. So option number one and enter. And just to make sure that it has set the correct um, source directory, we can use this command as well. Okay, so that's that part done. So now we can build the Grin node. So we're going to clone it into the Mimblewimble uh, GitHub. So you paste that. Okay, then we want to go into the Grin folder. So it's cd uh, Grin. Then it's cargo build dash dash uh, release. So this process will take um, a little bit of time depending on your computer specs. So probably between five and 10 minutes, something like that. You can see we're currently on three of 372, um, but just leave that running. It will take a little while. Um, if you get any errors or if it crashes, um, just kind of rerun the build uh, command again and it should complete the second time around. Okay, so our Grin node build has now completed. It took a little bit longer than expected, but I've only got a small amount of resources in this uh, virtual box. So it took me 15 minutes. So for you guys, it should take um, significantly less. Um, so there is a warning at the end, but pretty much everything went through fine. So if that, you see that warning, it's, it's normal. So the next part is to start up the Grin node. So you wanna use the next command. So it's select it and we'll control and C to copy it. And then we shall paste it. And this will start up the Grin node. So this is the main interface. You will see the current sort of status on this top line, uh, kind of what it's doing on the next line down and also connected peers. 
So what you effectively want to see is, um, sorry, let me just resize this. You'll see a little bit better. Is you want to see this header tip hash. Um, so this header box, you kind of want looking exactly the same as this chain tip box. So you can see at the moment, so the top um, chain is um, 975 blocks and we're currently at 957. So you just want to wait until this catches up to 976 now. So that's it. So basically the wallet at this point is now um, synchronized. And sorry, I said wallet. It does actually have a wallet built into it, but I'm going to be using a separate wallet called um, the 713 wallet. I'll do a follow up video um, after this one. So you can see the basic status is, is up and running. And from here, the node is running. So now you can interact with this node. It helps um, to uh, relay transactions to connect work and all that kind of business. There's um, little bits of information on the side. You can see that we're connected to peers. Mining, we're not gonna have any mining info, but if you wanted to solo mine, you would also need this node running and you can connect to the solo um, node and mine directly to it. And we've also got this uh, version info. So we're currently using version one. Uh, by the time you guys see this or, or, or follow it through, it might be on a later version, but that is essentially uh, the process to get started with it. Okay guys, so thanks very much for watching. You should now be up and running with your Grin node. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.